the fact that you're engaged and you're at my front door something is wrong with you no no something is really something is off what the f is wrong with you what's up youtube it's your girl trail official and i'm back with another youtube video so look man y'all know every time i say so look man you know it's gonna be something juicy right don't ask me why i'm sitting in the passenger seat because i don't even know why i feel like i've had enough of the the stud slander how we're unfaithful and trustworthy and stuff like that but you know what today is the day i need to tell my truth my side of the story my side on how things played out for me you know because i feel like a a lot of us have been played we've been cheated on we don't get a chance to you know let people know that it's not always the studs man i personally feel like it's my time to let y'all know the facts so before i do that i need y'all to go ahead and like comment and subscribe man i'm not even the type to you know do all that expose and stuff like that you know what i'm saying but i decided i'm, I'm gonna tell y'all story time on something that happened to me i just feel like i need a drink for this hold on well, we don't, we don't drink liquor over here. We drink smoothies. Let me tell y'all, man. Oh, man, this is about to get juicy. I'm not here to break up no happy home. But at the same time, I don't like people that are like hypocrites. You know, like you can't say that you're you're like this. But in reality, you're doing this. Like it, it doesn't make any sense. Back in 2000, 2017, I had been single for a minute. Mind you, I had just got out of a situation where I was cheated on. I started talking talking to this girl she was cool she was pretty her name was Isabella we're gonna name her that Isabella me and Isabella was a year apart everything was cool you know um I always ask people when I started talking to them like what happened between them and their last partner basically like kind of seeing how you are as a person and wanted to know if you have done wrong you'll acknowledge both sides of it you know like your side and that person's side so I always ask people so that way I know what could possibly possibly be your flaws you know and if you're trying to work on them type stuff so she told me she had been in a relationship with a girl and it was like very hectic basically it was a lot of trauma to the situation of course and I felt bad you know that that had happened but I asked her did she also play a part too like was there anything that she did and of course she's telling me no she was the one that was faithful I asked her that we started kicking it I think like two three months went by everything was smooth it was cool we just wasn't like super duper close we just hung out a lot of the times and one day i kind of like peeped her behavior was like changing i'm very observant basically so like i can peep when you acting different and instead of like accusing you i'm gonna ask you like is everything okay you know, off back she instantly got like defensive so you know i kind of just like kept my distance but still was hanging out with her and still was basically not just trying to push all up on her or whatever right she had a ex that stayed out of state and basically was still in somewhat communication with like they was just friends now she didn't know that i knew this person but this person me and her were mutuals on instagram like we had been we were both kind of like instagram famous or whatever at the time so we had already knew each other we just don't know each other you know what i'm saying so i found that out and i'm like i ain't tripping on it or nothing like that but you know i know you're supposed to be going to new york for uh an event and to see your family out there so as long as you were honey with me i'm cool you know i'm i'm not gonna trip off of it but don't let me find nothing out like you on some a different type of time type of thing so anyways long story short she went out there and we were still communicating we were still keeping in contact or whatever but it would be sometimes when she would like completely go ghost off the face of earth Dude, that's kind of weird all of a sudden the next day comes she was starting to get like extremely nonchalant the next day i wake up and i go on instagram and i'm just looking at all my comments they like ain't this ain't this such and such like don't you deal with her Woo, whatever and i'm just like hold on so i go and click on the page on the page folks of the person that they're tagging me under profile it's the girl that i'm dealing with with her ex supposedly it was her ex right that's what she told me that they haven't been on that type of time and they don't know how long like it's been years not the ex that she had the trauma with this was an ex of years ago i think like three three years ago or whatever it was a long distance kind of relationship and they i guess it didn't work so she finally got a chance to go out there and linked with the ex from my understanding right so i'm looking like what you what is this you know 
saying? So I slide in the in the in the girl's DM that posted the picture. Basically, it was a long paragraph, like, "Awesome, this is my girl. I love her to death." You know, just whatever she said. It was some something that I shouldn't have seen. Basically, so I'm like, "Man, what type of time is you on? Like, like what's up?" But I'm like, I'm like, "You want to explain what I'm saying?" She's like, "Hold on, let me let me explain. I'm at work, so I'm at." She like, "Can we talk?" I'm, man, we ain't got nothing to talk about. We being real, like, you know, if somebody can take you from me, you ain't minds to begin with but i end up going to the girl's dm i'm like what you i said you posting my girl i'm like what's to you bro so then she like yo girl yeah shorty my girl i'm like bro she was like you sure you got the right girl what what bro what are you talking about man um what do, what do you mean do, am i sure i got the right girl i said man come on now sorry y'all i had a phone call but anyways i'm telling old girl like obviously something is going on here you know obviously somebody is lying and i don't know who it is but it's not me i'm the one that's been telling the truth the whole time so isabella uh ends up trying to like dm me talking about can we talk in person i'll explain everything it's not what it looks like we end up meeting in person we end up talking about the situation right and she was telling me how the girl is lying and this and that she got into it with the girl and her sister and all of this and i'm like all right whatever so i gave her another chance a month went by she started being real sneaky she stopped posting like a lot a whole lot my best friend was following this girl that supposedly was mutual friends with isabella right my best friend showing me like ain't this isabella i'm like yeah that is her right so i'm putting two and two together you know they've been kicking it and she would lie and tell me that she's somewhere she was really at the beach when she said she was at work yo you grown as hell like what are you lying for play it like you just want to be some type of player but you online talking about you not like this and you could never do this and stuff like that so then she did it again another girl that was my breaking point, which it should have been my breaking point before that. Some months had went by, then a year had went by. We, like I said, we was not talking. I ended up getting a relationship with my last ex. That went on for like two years, right? So after the two years, me and my ex was no longer together. Then we started back talking and then we like officially like broke up or whatever. So she had came back around. Mind you, I was not in no communication with this girl while I was dealing with my ex. Uh, we ended up becoming cool after, like, I think it had to be like a month, a month after I had my situation with my ex or whatever. So her and my sister was working together. She was telling me and my sister basically how the person that she was with, she couldn't stand them. And mind you, she posts a girl every single day person that she was talking about was the person that she was messing around on the low uh when she was trying to quote unquote be in a relationship with me right the one that my best friend was showing me she's talking to me about how she can't stand her and she's got an anger issue and the family that she has she can't stand them and all of this stuff and i'm just like even about the child like that the girl had and i'm low-key feel bad because i'm like bro ain't no way to work i can talk about the person that i'm supposed to be with this bad especially not to somebody that was pretty much my ex like we talked for a good five six months me and my sister i'm just like looking at her she looking at me i'm like yeah this girl nuts i'm i'm thinking to myself like maybe the girl she talking about is really crazy we could possibly be in a situation she was in before with the one that she had trauma with she was like we're not together we just pretty much roommates right now like she's on one end of the house i'm on the other end of the house so i'm thinking she's single i'm single we started hanging out but i know y'all probably gonna think like hey you know when people text they text on iMessage right no this girl was texting me off snapchat the entire time why does she keep texting me on snap i'm putting two and two together like okay that's weird so i'm telling my best friend she like nah like that's strange it's crazy she telling you all this stuff but why she can't text you on iMessage or call you and i'm like yeah like that's weird but you steady want us to to link up she's asking me to link through instagram and through snapchat at first yeah we was linking up but i'm like wait why don't you never message me and she was like she's crazy like she still grabs my phone like she'll i'll be on my apple watch or something and i'll leave my phone in the living room and she's just going off and i'm like you can't go off because we're not together and that's still weird though and i'm thinking like maybe they lease ain't broke or something like that because they was living together so I'm like, maybe they at least ain't broken. She really just got to deal with this girl. Mind you, she stayed about 30 minutes from me, but her old house was seven minutes from me, right? So she would literally 
only snapped me or in, uh, text me on Instagram while she was at work. I didn't even know where she worked at. She wanted to meet up so we could have lunch or like come and see me. I was door dashing in that area. So then she'd be like, come and see me. So of course I'm coming to see her because you single. You know, I ain't doing nothing. I'm technically on my break time too so i'm like whatever so i end up meeting up with her and she'll be grabbing all up on me and and telling me if she find out that i'm messing with this one girl who's actually one of my closest friends right now she was mad at me because i was cool with him, but i'm like i didn't know what y'all had going on i never knew nothing about that but that's my homie just don't talk about her around me and you know we good or whatever so her birthday comes around I know they still in the house together. I know that they have, you know, the apartment together. She was telling me that she's getting ready to move and she's probably gonna move back to our old area. So I'm like, oh, okay, that's cool. The day of her birthday, she was, she texted me on Snap and she kept saying like, she was telling me about her day and thank you for the birthday um, message or whatever the case. My best friend, you know what? Let me give a shout out to my best friend because she's always had my back no matter what. This is my other best friend, Deja, right? She sends me a, a screenshot of the girl that she's been talking trash about, talking about the family, talking about how she's crazy. The girl posts a picture of them two on her birthday saying, I love you so much. You're the best thing that's ever happened to me. I love my girlfriend so much. Ooh, I seen girlfriend, I said, oh, oh, wow. What Chris Rock say? Wow. That right there was it. Like, I was like, yeah, no. I thought that I was giving you another chance to redeem yourself because now we're older. This was your chance to redeem yourself and you did it. You know, you decided to not only play with me, but play with this girl. Y'all got a whole situation going on and you need to hear this. Y'all got a whole situation going on regardless. People don't understand that there's the good, the bad, and the ugly of a relationship. If you know you don't want to pursue somebody, especially somebody that has a child, a child that's that's in the picture, that is foul for you to sit up there and play with them like you want to be there forever when you know that you don't. And then the more you pursue it, the deeper you're into it. And now you really look like a clown. Now you really look goofy because you knew that you didn't want to be with this person and they didn't know and you allowed them to, to drag it out this long with you because of what you're portraying to them you're petty so i hadn't even said nothing i said you know what i'm gonna see if she said something to me before she said something to the girl because i had looked and she didn't say nothing to the girl like thanks babe for the happy birthday wish whatever she used to say that she was delusional so i'm like maybe she is delusional i don't know so let me go ahead and use my fingers and go ahead and message her so she responded to me before she responded to the girl, right? Mad you, the picture that she had posted was old pictures of them from whenever. I'm like, ooh, I'm like, yeah, see, she's different. So I played along, played along the whole day. Up until late on that night, she told me she was drunk. Oh, I'm drunk and I miss you and all this stuff. Like she loves me and all this. And I said, oh, okay. I said, so when was you gonna tell me that you've been in a relationship this whole time? Do y'all know she left me on scene? Like, no, she left me on scene for like a month. But that's not even it. That's not even it. Some months go by, she ends up sending me a long DM, right? She said to me, basically, you know that the situation can possibly change again. You know I've told you before, I'm unhappy. You're the right person, but this is the wrong timing, right? So I left it at that. I said, I don't hate you. I'm like, you could have just been honest and told me the truth. I gave you a chance to redeem yourself and you didn't. But it's all love, you know what I'm saying? right here she go slowly reaching out to me slowly saying stuff in my my dms and laughing at stuff hard eyeing my stuff calling me poppy all types of bro you are with somebody she's telling me that it's even worse now that they're not really together no more right that she she really cannot stand her and she's probably going to get a restraining order on her all types of stuff. so i'm like oh wow this is getting serious like y'all for real for real right boom this was last year it was getting ready to be the end of the summertime she was still trying to link up with me but she was being a little sneakier and i'm just i'm just playing along because i just I really want to know what is your motive? What do you have going on? Why are you like this? 
what are you doing this is not okay like this is bad do y'all know this girl i promise you right hand right hand to god this girl popped up to my house popped up to my house i know that she was coming i knew that she was coming but i'm just like i get a phone call from one of my relatives my cousin like bro did you see what's on facebook do you see what's on Isabella Facebook? I'm like, no. She was like, it's not on her Facebook, but she's tagged in it. So I'm like, what do y'all see? My best friend on the same thing. Like, do y'all, she was like, do you, do you see what's on, what's her name? Paige, I'm not. Bro, she's engaged. Somebody come and look at this. Look at this. Hey, hey, let me tell y'all something. The fact that you're engaged and you're at my front door, something is wrong with you. No. No, something is really, something is off. What the f is wrong with you? Why would you do that? I felt like the sad piece, like, whoa, what the, f what is wrong with you? Like you dealing with somebody that's got a whole child that looks at you as a stepmother and you are at my front door literally telling me you want to be with me, that you love me, that you want to be married to me and and you crazy about me you sitting up here like grabbing all up on me like you got me effed up if i catch you with any of x y and z or whatever the case and i'm sitting there like how is you gonna tell me what i'm effed up for if i do something and you're the one with the ring on your finger so as i look and she was over there yes she did have a ring on her finger and i said i hadn't even said nothing yet because i'm thinking that maybe it's a promise ring or something like or maybe it's just a ring i don't know but i didn't find out about that ring until after she came to the house so i said you engaged and she was like it's not what it looks like first of all you ain't got to explain to me you need to explain to yourself why you popped up to my house you don't want to be with this girl you don't want to be a part of the family because that's what you told me not only did you tell me that, but you told other people that. And I know for a fact, because they are eyewitnesses, and I was right there. We all was right there when you said it. All of us was right there when you said it. You messed up for that, bro. You messed up. Like, I was cool with you. I was very cool with you. I, You know what I'm saying? I let you live in your peace. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't here to ruin no happy homes, but you messed up. You messed up for that, bro. I don't like dislike you. I just think that that was petty. Like you could have, you could have literally told that girl the truth that you don't want to be with her. And if you've changed your mind by now, hey, go ahead. Y'all, y'all do what y'all got to do. But that right there was petty. That's petty, man. That's nuts. That is so nuts. I said, I ain't got nothing against you. I don't have nothing against the girl. But it's crazy because one day I'm on the phone, right? I was on the phone and I'm standing outside. This is literally minutes before she snapped me. Telling me she was coming out towards my house today and she gonna try and stop by after she's done with doing stuff with her mom or whatever the case. So I'm like, all right, cool, whatever. I'm standing outside, I'm on the phone, chopping it up with one of my homies. And all of a sudden, I see her car going past my house. The girl is driving her car. She's eyeballing me like this. Um, I just started laughing. She like that was so random, but you know she wasn't looking at me. She got she sitting in the seat like this. Here go the girl. Oh um, whoa, <laughs> honey, you got a situation going on. You better get that together. So she ends up married. You no, know, she ends up engaged. Telling me that you know that that's not going to happen. I'm not going to marry her. You ain't got to explain yourself to me. You look like a fool right now. But you tweeting online that you're this perfect partner that does no wrong, that's faithful, that's trustworthy, that's gonna hold you down. And you may be, but not to her. And you damn sure wasn't gonna do it to me. You crazy. I ain't even gonna hold you. You, you nuts. But anyways, y'all, I just wanna say this. All of us studs out here, we are not that evil. I'm not one of them people that's just gonna get on that type of time, like cheating and playing. I ain't got time for that. I'm finna be 25 years old. You know, I don't have time for all those games and and sneaking around it's too much it's 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 too much for me you know i can't i can't do nothing like that i'm ready to settle down and that person be an addition to my happiness so like if you're not happy leave and then do what you want and i don't know the girl you know i ain't got no beef with you you probably got a lot of beef with me you probably don't like me and i'm sure you probably don't considering the fact you probably seen us snapping and and texting but honest to god i'm gonna put this out here right now what she was telling me about you, you need to take that up with her and ask her why was she doing you like that.
that's petty. Ain't no way in the world I would sit up here and talk about the person that I'm with with my ex. But yeah, y'all, you know, that's my story time. I just had to let that out there. I ain't here to break up no happy homes unless the happy home wants to be broken. No, I'm joking. <laughs> I appreciate y'all for watching my video. Thank you for tuning in to another trail video. I'm going to have another banger for y'all. A banger. Y'all stay smooth out here. Stay faithful. Don't be, don't be. I'm talking to you right here. You, you, because I know, I know sometimes y'all be thinking about it, but don't do it. I'm telling you, man, it's messy. You don't want to be messy, bro. We, we supposed to be, it ain't no hot stud summer. It ain't no hot stuff, Summer. Even if you see them in them sundresses, don't do it. Don't do it. Stay faithful. Promise you, y'all, it's not that hard. And if you in a situation and you know that you don't want to be with that person, be honest and let set them free right now. Don't do that later because it's only going to make it worse for you and them. And then they're going to have all this stuff on you. Don't do it. But yeah, y'all. I love y'all. I'll see y'all next time. We out.